Hi, I'm Sean Yan, and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about differentiation, and we're going to use the power constant and sum rules. And we're going to differentiate each function with respect to x. So if I was given this function, y equals 4x to the fifth plus x, just x right there. Okay. Well, this one, I'm definitely using the power rule, and they're using sum rules. And what they're what we're combining here is when we take our derivative, we can take the derivative of each part individually with that plus sign in between. Now, sometimes people like to write like the steps in between. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to take the derivative of all of one step and show you that we can separate them. Uh, I guess that separation is for a different video. But so when I take my derivative here, my dy over dx, okay, power rule states that this 5 comes out, and I'll put it out front this time. So 5 times out front multiplication 4x to the power of 5 minus 1. We take whatever that exponent was and we subtract 1 from it. Okay, so we bring it down out front and then we, uh, for multiplication, then we subtract the exponent by 1. Plus, and we do the same thing actually, or we can do the same thing here uh, with x, right? We imagine there's a 1 out front. If you don't know the derivative of x being just 1, right? But there's a 1 out front, or uh, the exponent, sorry, and a 1 out front. Uh, if we use power rule again, we can also get our answer. So 1 comes down times x to the 1 minus 1 power. Okay? So let's simplify this. dy dx, derivative of y with respect to x, is equal to 5 times 4, which is 20. x, and then 5 minus 1 power, right? 5 minus 1 is 4. So we have 20x to the fourth power. Plus, well, x to the 1 minus 1, that's 0, right? So we have really 1 times x to the 0 power, okay? Well, anything to the 0 power is just 1, correct? And 1 times 1 is 1. So if I want to rewrite this finally, just to make my final answer, 20x to the 4th plus 1. There we have it, okay? So let's recap. We're given y equals 4x to the 5th plus x. I use my power rule. Uh, and my sum rule separating the two, right? The sum rule says we can, you know, derivative this, uh, both sums individually. And so we uh, brought that exponent down, 5 times 4, which was 20, right there. And then x to the 5 minus 1 power gave me to the fourth power, right there. And then most people, if it's just x, you know, it's the number uh, the constant that's in, or the number that's in front of x there, which is 1, is just going to be the derivative there. But if you want to show the steps, I'll show it in this, uh, this video here. Uh, we have x to the 1 minus 1 power if we use the power rule. We brought down a 1 up front, and then we subtracted the exponent by 1, giving me x to the 0 power. x to the 0 power is just 1. So that leaves us with just a 1 here. And so our final answer here is just dy dx is equal to 20x to the 4th.